Big, big shout out for Amazon Lit. What's up, everybody? Top of the morning. How we doing tonight? How we doing tonight? Can't do it by yourself. You know, that ego gets in the way, though. My ego's always telling me, I'm the best at this shit. I can do it better than anybody. Nobody can buy like me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No I'm one's the most efficient care. packer. No one's going to care about the business the way I care. Yeah. I don't have eight arms, though. I'm not an octopus. I can't do that. I can't be in all these places at once. You have to build systems. Right? So this is a... Uh, how do I play this bad boy? This is a, a preview. I cut the side off. Worked, okay. So this is a preview of our... This is what systems does. This is, this is two of five production stations we have. This is real time, too. This is not sped up. <laughs> so this, this guy down here, he's confirming that the product's accurate. It's going to the production station. This lady's unpackaging it. That lady's labeling it, bagging it, and then it's going right back onto this end pallet here. Super efficient. This is the system that gets us to produce 12,000 plus FBA orders a day. All right? And we're always working and reworking it. It's dope, right? It's fucking cool. <laughs> I'm not going to read all this. You guys can read, right? But this is how it begins. Because obviously when you start, you only have yourself in the business. So it makes sense. It's just about expanding. The universe is constantly expanding. We need to expand if we're going to grow. 100%. 100%. Right? So this is where Amazon Wholesale comes in. That's how you build a massive fucking Amazon business. Right? RA's great. Always great. We did first couple of years. What were we doing? Five, eight million a year doing RA? Yeah, first year was three, and then we scaled up to about 10 almost. Yeah, yeah, about 10 million with RA. And then it hit us. Sebastian went to a trade show in San Francisco, yep. right, your first one. Yep. And, and, and we just knew there had to be a better way. There's no way that running into 50 stores every week is efficient for our time. I value my time. I started to value my time. In the beginning, I was so excited to be making money, I didn't care about my time. It didn't matter to me because I was sleeping on people's fucking couches, you know? So, like, to be able to make some cash was cool. But then after we got into the business mindset a little bit, we realized that we needed to start valuing our time because we were going to lose it, right? And for someone like me to lose it, I don't lose it slowly. I lose it. I go back to very poor habits that potentially ruin my life and kill me, you know? So that's not a fucking option for me. I cannot veer in that direction, or a lot of you be coming to my funeral, and that's not cool. That is unacceptable to me. You know, so we had to put systems in place in order to change that. So this is the process. You source, you negotiate, you buy products at volume at discounted prices, and you sell them on Amazon for a profit. Same shit with RA, except 10x, 20x, 50x. All right, and this is, this is a graph of our growth. The yellow line is sales. The uh, Red is orders. So this past year, we shipped about 3 million orders, did about 65 million. Um, and here, you'll notice we shipped less orders, um, did about the same sales, and we were very profitable that year. That is where we changed. We became more lean, and we changed our buying processes. Yeah. So right there is when we just so happened to change our whole systems, became more profitable, and then COVID happened. Yeah, COVID happened. It's COVID. COVID was crazy for us. Me and Sebastian were at the warehouse like 3 a.m. Like, I'm buying 5,000 units of deodorant, you know? <laughs> and we're yelling through the wall at each other. He's like, I just got a truckload of toilet paper. <laughs> you know? We were wild. And it's like 3 in the morning. We couldn't even, we're like, we're not, we're not leaving. <laughs> we made it. It was great. It was great. Right? So, um, do you got the letters yet? No? Can we pass out those letters? Oh, you yeah, got them already? Out. They're out. Everyone's All right, so, so bust out those letters real quick and a pen. You got some pens as well. Um, did you get a flyer too? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We'll discuss that in a couple minutes. Uh, Romer here is going to throw on some motivational music. Um, and, and it's very straightforward. So I'm going to show you what, what, what we're looking at here, right? So this is goals. You guys are going to fill this out and I'm going to mail them back to you in 12 months to see if you actually do what you said you were going to do. 
right? It's about accountability, okay? So this is what we're going to do. You're going to fill it out and you're going to say, by February 2024, I will be a top insert Amazon seller. So there's a website right here, Seller Ratings, where you can plug in your Amazon name and they'll tell you what number you are as far as your Amazon company. You know, like we're top 100. I'm sure some of you are top 500. Some of you are top 10,000. Some of you might be a million, right? So you're going to put here, like, let's say you want to be a top 5,000 Amazon seller. Okay, very straightforward. Everybody understand that? Say aye. 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 Any questions? So our goal this year is 100 million. Will we hit maybe 75, 80 million? Yes, but we're, that's what we shoot for. We shoot for the astronomical and we'll see where it takes us. Everything's about intent. We write down our intent. And at the beginning of every year, Eric and I write ourselves a check in the amount that we expect to make for the year. And then we put it in our wallets. Yeah. It's uh, all about intent. I'm gonna go more granular into is all about just reducing friction, reducing redundancy. Taking what you currently have and learning how to scale it, learning how to delegate towards others. A lot of time what we hear is that our VAs suck, VAs this, the VA messed this up. The problem, 99% of the time, yes, could it be the VA once in a while? Yes, 99% of the time it's ownership. It's accountability, it's not spending enough time training our employees, training and incentivizing our employees. It's the systems, right? Simple six-step process. You find suppliers, you source the products, you receive and produce the inventory, you manage Amazon, you reorder and you repeat. It's so straightforward, right? And here's some great place to find suppliers. Everybody take a picture of this, right? Your trade shows, who's going to ASD next week? Awesome, see you there. Who's coming to BGHL next week? Nobody? Sold out. Sold out. Uh, but Google search, retail stores, tur turn your retail relationships into wholesale relationships. Talk to the managers. References, LinkedIn, Monster and Indeed, reverse engineering products to find the, the companies that sell them, right? Supplier deep dive, and then trucks on the road. You probably drove by 50 trucks in the past year that are great suppliers, but because you're too busy listening to a little baby, you didn't hear it. You didn't look at it, you know? You didn't look at it. It's all about the relationships. We touched on this. When it comes to your suppliers, these people are also entrepreneurs who are also growing their business. Spend time getting to know them. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you need to know, you know, so softwares like AZ Insight, SellerAmp, Keepa, right? Like these are all crucial softwares, you know? Softwares like AZ Insight help you get the BSR, competitors in stock, variation reviews, estimated sales. Like those are key components of a wholesale business. You know, Keepa, you gotta look at Keepa like it's a movie, not a picture in time. You cannot look at it at today's profitability. You have to expand the Keepa chart. Look at 365 days, look at five years, analyze the data, there's cycles. Products come in cycles. They ebb and they flow. They go up and down. It's like the price of Bitcoin. If you can learn how to analyze a cycle of a, of the life cycle of a product, I guarantee you, you triple your business just in the next couple months. This if, is everything we train our, train our employees, everything he's saying. It's yeah. business 101, which is supply and demand. That, that, that's all it's about. And you'll see patterns in the Keepa chart. Too often we find sellers who don't use the Keepa chart. It's our number one tool for finding and securing profitable items. 100%, right? So know your expenses, your PCPA, that's your production cost per ASIN. It's so important. It's the DNA of your business. Yeah. You have to know the health of your company. If you do one thing when you leave here, learn your numbers. How much does it cost per month to run your business? Then divide it by 30, you got per day. Then divide it by 24, you got per hour. We broke it down to the second. So we know what it costs to run our business every second. So we know how much we have to produce per minute. How yeah. much we have to produce per hour. Yeah, and get granular. You got to understand the categories you're selling. Amazon has uh, discounts that they offer, the storage type, the prep requirements. All these things take money out of your pocket if you don't understand them. Or you could use them to your benefit if you understand them. And the last thing it said there was train, train, and retrain. Too many times, you know, we hear that they train a buyer, an associate in the warehouse, or a VA for a couple weeks, and then they let them go. Go do your thing. We train our VAs for nine months to a year, an hour a day, half hour reviewing their orders, then half hour kind of giving them new tactics and traits because we want it so ingrained in them that they do the processes the way that we need them to be done that they don't mess up. And then from there, we watch them skyrocket. Yeah, yeah. 
So receiving and producing your inventory. Nobody has a warehouse management system here. Use, use, or maybe some of you do, but most of you don't. I know that. So like use Google Sheets to track your inventory in the beginning. UPCs, expiration dates, product descriptions, all of that. You need to know what's coming in and what's going out and keep track of that shit. Even if you're in your own spot, just count the steps it takes for you to find a product because you don't have it in Google Sheet where the location is. Yeah. We're always counting steps because a thousand steps a day equals hours in a week which equals weeks in a year yeah, weeks so, of wasted time so making those small decisions like when to not reuse a manufacturer box you know and when to actually just get a bigger box to put those items in like all these little things like this are really what's going to allow you to save a lot of money and put more profit back into your po into your pockets you know and then managing amazon Account health dashboard, account health, right? Pricing health, voice of the customer, news, inventory dashboard, like become familiar with all these things. This is where Amazon literally gives you the roadmap to success. It's on Seller Central. You got to pay attention to that stuff. It, it's so important. I mean, even today, I'm still spending a half hour to an hour a day on Seller Central going through, going through the search bars, going through the different uh, modules that they've recently changed because Amazon's constantly changing. Their KPIs are constantly changing. And just a small piece of information can change your business. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is where the news is right here. Focus on the news. That's where all the updates happen. All right, and then these are simply, take a picture of this, I'm not gonna talk about it, look at it later. Uh, these are the four positions that make a successful Amazon business. A picker, packer, purchaser, and a position leader. The position leader manages those three other positions as you grow. In the beginning, you're all of these. Who's all of these right now? Yeah, it's a lot of work, right? But you, you love it, don't you? I love it, love it. And reorder, you know, your sales estimates versus true sales. You know, when you order a product, you have true sales data on it. You're no longer making estimates of how many to purchase. You know how many will sell because you have the data that tells you that, right? And then make sure you're pricing them properly, you understand the velocity, keep analysis, communicate with vendors, get better discounts, ask them what you could, how you could be of service to them. Hey, got any products you're having trouble getting rid of, right? It's not a take, 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 give, or take, take, take relationship. It's take, give, take, give, and then gain relationship. Yeah, it's a two-way street. Everything that we do with our with our relationships. And guess what? When there's a promotion out there, when there's something that's discounted heavily, who's the first company they're reaching out to? Amazon Lit, because Amazon Lit's the company that's always helping our suppliers move products. Yeah. Even if even if we break even on it, we'll yeah. move it for them just to help them because we understand the power of relations. Yeah. And here was the keep a chart that we were talking about. If you're not familiar with it, the green line is how how popular the product is while well, here's the pricing. So when you see that the pricing is dropping and it continues to drop and the rank isn't moving, well then that tells me that the supply is stagnant while there's way too much, the demand is stagnant while there's way too much supply. There's way too much supply, meaning way too many sellers on there, and everyone's dropping price because they're not moving enough product. Yeah, and you look at it here, and you're like, I'm going to hold it. It's, it's going to go back up. <laughs> and then it drops $4, and you're like, fuck, I'm going to keep holding it. You know? And then it, dro <laughs> it drops $3, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> All right, and you're like, I'm going to keep holding it. And now here, you're losing 15 bucks. And you should have just dumped it here. Break even. Take the $2 loss. Dump it. Keep your best sellers in stock. Self-explanatory. Um, remain consistent with excess inventory. You don't want excess inventory building up. You know, anything that's been in stock, Amazon gives you data on 90 days to 180 days, 180 to 270, 270 to 365. Look at those SKUs. They're not making you money collecting dust in Amazon and storage fees. They're hurting your business. Get that cash back, reinvest it into more profitable products. They're lowering your restock limits. They're lowering your IPI. So set a goal. For us, it's 30 to 60 days. That's our goal to move product once it gets to Amazon. Set whatever yours is and stay consistent with it. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a dope quote by uh, the guy who wrote E-Myth Revisited. And uh, it's really powerful. So just read it. I'm not going to read it to everybody, but... <laughs> but just check it out. It's, it's, it's revolutionary, right? It really opened up my mind when I read it. Yeah. You know? Um, and real quick too, just this is this is it. We're wrapping it up here. So just to reinforce that you wrote the the letter correctly, and then please pass them. What are we gonna do? To the pass them to the right or your left, right? So Sebastian and I, 
We don't just live the Amazon life. We help people like you grow your Amazon business, right? So we have live weekly calls where you could talk about the shit we're talking about with me and Sebastian every single Monday night. For the past three years straight, every Monday night, I've spent at minimum two hours with my community guiding them to wholesale success. My community, our community, has 800 members that sell $35 million a month. $35 million a month. We have brand new sellers who've never sold, and then we have our top sellers who are doing two million a month. We have people who've been working with us from when they were doing a quarter million a month, and now he's doing what, over two million a month? Yeah, two, and a two, two and a half million a month. We have million dollar a month sellers that we've trained. The program is authentic. It's, it's authentic, right? Because when you pay, you pay attention. Right? That's absolutely true. I invest six figures in inner circles, entrepreneurial events, and masterminds every single year, and it helps me level up. You got all this information on the flyers. If you have any questions, please come talk to me and Sebastian. We're open books. Say, what's up, E? I got a question. I'm concerned about this, this, and this. Let me know. Be open about it. Right? That's where growth happens. So I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you so much for being here. I love you, and stay lit. <laughs>